Kimberley, British Columbia is a good place to be. Situated in the Kootenai Rockies, this resort community is a mountainous playground to escape to. In the winter, it's one of the best places in Canada to ski. And in the summer, an extensive network of trails for walking, biking, and river rafting are at your fingertips. But it's the golf that's caught score golf's attention and is a big reason to head out west to this region. It's a scenic three hour drive from Calgary or a short flight from Vancouver. And Kimberly has got just about everything you need for a fun filled family vacation. Our first stop on our golf journey takes us to Trickle Creek Golf Resort. Trickle Creek was opened in 1993. It's designed by Les Ferber, Golf Design Services out of Canmore, but the city fathers at the time, Kaminko, which was the main lead and zinc mine in the town, was closing its doors soon, so they had to find different avenues to survive, and tourism was the angle they went, and Trickle Creek came to be from that uh, thought process. The beauty of Trickle really is we are three minutes from downtown Kimberley. But when you're out here, you feel like you're out in nature. You're, you're out there by yourself. There's no holes that are really too close to one another. So it, it gives you that feeling that it's you out going for a nice drive out, out in the middle of nature. Woven through the rugged alpine environment, crossing creeks and diving with the slopes of North Star Mountain, Trickle Creek Golf Resort is one of the most awesome courses you'll play in Canada. The course has been listed by Score Golf as a top resort course in our country. Trickle Creek Lodge is only a three wood away from the 18th tee, and all guests staying at the lodge receive reduced green fees and priority access to preferred tee times. We are built on the side of North Star Mountain, across from the ski resort, and it's a very enjoyable play. Our main goal here at Trickle Creek is to provide the best experience possible for your golf outing. The course itself, as you can tell, is a beautiful setting. We have exceptional service and awesome food. Taking our first look at the course, there were a number of holes that stood out, and the par four second is a good place to start. One of the best things Les Ferber did with uh, Trickle was just use the lay of the land, the natural contours that are there, and he basically just plopped a golf hole in there. It's on the side of the mountain. You have to favor the right side because everything kicks to the left. A uh, favorable shot is just to the 150. It gives you a fairly flat lie into a quite sloping green, so you do want to favor the right side also. The par 4 fifth plays over 450 yards from the back tee and is arguably the toughest hole on the entire course. Again, it follows the plateau along the top side of the golf course. You do want to favor the right-hand side. The green itself is quite large. It has a tier in the middle, but shot selection is definitely key. And the trap on the right is called the tombstone trap and the right side of it is a rock wall that's basically against the bank of the slope there. And I've never seen a shot go off it, but I've heard of a few, but it, it, it just adds a, a special feature. When it comes to pretty holes, the eighth is a sweet and short downhill par three that plays even shorter than the yardage dictates. But there isn't a lot of room for error as anything right of the large green will be buried in one of the traps. The 11th is the course's signature hole. Truly, it is a breathtaking hole from an elevated tee box. The view is so picturesque, the folks at Trickle Creek have set up a few chairs for you just to chill out and take in the cool mountain air while taking in what is absolutely a gorgeous view of the Kootenai Rockies. Once you get there, you're staring at the Rocky Mountains, looking down the valley, and the hole generally plays about a club less than you would originally hit, and it's a wide expanding green, and it's, it's a beautiful golf hole. It's just a scenic, pretty par three. Both the 13th and 15th are dynamic holes that have water hazards that come into play. And both are dog legs that require plenty of club to elevated greens protected by some nasty bunkering. Definitely memorable holes through Trickle Creek's back nine. But like all fine courses, the 18th is something special. Long and straight, the real challenge comes on your second shot. What appears to be a simple shot to a good sized green can turn quite complicated should you find yourself going long and landing in a pond just behind. That pond, along with the clubhouse patio, can wreak some havoc when you're facing what could be your final iron shot of the day. The good news is that when you're done your round, it's your turn to watch golfers hit that tough green on 18 as you sit on the outdoor patio while dining at the clubhouse. 
A 10 minute drive from Trickle Creek Resort is Bootleg Gap Golf Course. This is another Les Ferber design and is a 27 hole public facility featuring an 18 hole championship course and a unique 9 hole course and one of the best practice facilities in the area. Well, it's a very playable facility. We have some great spacious link style holes and uh, some holes around a large water feature. And then we also have some great elevated tee shots in the back nine. Bootleg Gap's championship course combines some spacious driving holes with some tighter riverside fairways where accuracy is at a premium. The layout sits next to the mighty St. Mary River where a three hole stretch overlooks the rapids. The reality is that this is a great course to play on but the views of towering pine trees and rolling mountaintops may affect your scorecard, as it's easy to forget about your game in favor of snapping a few photos for your Facebook or Instagram accounts. One of our longest par fives on the course, the, the par five number two, it links out to over 600 yards from our back tees. Um, it's a uh, link style, it's pretty open, so the, uh, the longer hitter can definitely grip it and rip it off the tee. Um, and you'll, you'll have to make three pretty good shots to get to the green and, and make a par. Par 3 4th doesn't play that long, but it requires a solid mid-iron shot across a small valley. A massive pine tree in front of the fairway and large bunkers surrounding the green make a chance at birdie extremely tough. But if you can do it, then you're on your way to mastering Bootleg Gap Golf Course. The signature hole is the 193-yard par 3 12th, which requires a tee shot usually affected by wind to a well-protected large, undulated green situated 50 feet below. One of my favorite holes on the golf course, 13, uh, par four. It's got a uh, great elevated tee shot and uh, great views of the mountain ranges in the background. Um, target off the tee is gonna be just right of the fairway bunker. And um, there's a little bit more room to the right side of the fairway that you can see from the tee. So a tee shot shape from left to right is probably gonna end up in the fairway. Once you're in the fairway, you're faced with a mid to short iron approach shot to a wide, shallow green. And a long par 5 18th is awaiting you to wrap up your round. And if length isn't hard enough for you, then the massive pond sitting just below the green will swallow up any balls that are sadly mishit. If playing the championship course doesn't suit your timing, then check out the shorter recreational course. It is definitely not your typical executive par 3 style course. This par 34 9 hole course features three threes, five par 4s, and a 519 yard par 5. The Rec 9 provides a unique challenge and is an extremely popular component of bootleg gap golf. It's kind of a hybrid 9, uh, a little bit of a combination between an executive course and a championship course. Um, there's definitely a misconception that it's an executive 9, but it's definitely got uh, a little bit more length and challenge than an executive course. Our weekday green fees are $54 um, plus card if you'd like to ride, and then $64 on the weekend. And we have our recreational 9 hole course that's uh, $19 all day, all year. We're one of the three courses in Kimberley, and uh, there's also three more in, in Cranbrook, and, and definitely a golfer coming on a, on a trip is going to find, well, hopefully all six courses to play and, and really have a, a great golf week. Bootleg Gap and Trickle Creek are two of the area's finest courses. With numerous outdoor activities and incredible mountain courses, Kimberley and the Kootenai Rockies is one of Canada's best summer vacation destinations for you and your family.